My hope for this project has been that it can be a marriage of self-reflection and crochet. In the end, you'll be able to wrap yourself in your feelings. This is the In My Feelings crochet throw pattern. For this throw pattern, you're going to crochet 49 squares. Like a normal crochet sampler blanket, each square is a special stitch. What makes this pattern different is that each special stitch has been assigned a specific feeling, and those feelings have been inspired by the feelings wheel. You're going to crochet the squares that correspond to your own feelings. For this, you'll need the written pattern, which is in my Etsy shop, and I've linked that in the description. You're going to make a square whenever you feel a big emotion that you'd like to sit and acknowledge, or at the end of the day when you reflect and identify an overarching feeling of the day. You can also look back on the past week and pick a feeling that stands out to you the most for that week and dedicate the square to that week. Make this blanket your own on your own time. If you do decide to do a square a week, the blanket will take just under a year to complete, giving you a picture of your feelings for the year wrapped. Each stitch used for each square of this pattern has a corresponding YouTube video tutorial, which you can find on my YouTube playlist in my feelings crochet pattern. For this pattern, you'll need 2,700 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I used Lion Brand Yarn Color Theory in the color Ivory. You'll also need a 5mm crochet hook and a 4mm crochet hook, also known as size H and G, respectively. You'll also need scissors, a darning needle, measuring tape, and a blocking board. This pattern is a crochet skill level easy. Some of the stitches used are really simple, some are more complicated, but there is a lot of video support for all the stitches used. The first step of this project is going to be to crochet 49 squares. You'll see in the written pattern, if you have it, that each square is a special stitch that has been assigned a specific feeling, and you can crochet the squares that correspond to your own feelings if you want to. For example, if you've been feeling particularly happy, that is the tilted row stitch, so you'll crochet that square. Or if you would rather, you can just go about it like this is a normal crochet sampler and crochet whatever squares you like. Each square should measure seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. The squares do not all have to be perfectly seven and a half inches. That would be impossible with all the different stitches that we're using, but they should be within a quarter of an inch to a half inch of that. Moving on to step two, when you have finished crocheting your squares, you're gonna work on your blocking. I really recommend blocking for this project because it's going to help achieve a more consistent size and lay of your squares so a square that was maybe a little bit on the small size you can get it to stretch a little bit through blocking to get started we're going to dampen our squares so you don't need to get them all the way wet just get them damp i like to use a spray bottle to do this and then using a blocking board there's lots of different kinds of blocking boards you can get this is mine it's bamboo and then i have all these um, metal needles that i can poke into the slots so you're going to pin it to the blocking board with the pegs. And you can do this one at a time, but that's going to take forever because you have to wait for them to dry. So what I recommend doing is doing multiple squares at one time, and this will also help you to get them to block to the same size and shape. So once you're happy with your stack of squares, you're going to get your pegs out and put them in all four corners of your squares. And it's handy when you're doing this to get your tape measure out and measure seven and a half inches so you can see that you're placing the pegs in the correct holes so that you're blocking it to be the correct size. What's really important here again is that all your squares are the same size relative to each other. If you want them to be 8 inches or 7 inches then that's fine too but you just want to make sure that they're all pretty much the same size. And if you want to be extra like me you can add a few more pegs to the middles of each side to really make sure that you keep all your squares the same shape especially with some of the scaffolding on the squares like the shell stitch this can be helpful and then when your squares are dry you can take them off of your blocking board and we're ready to assemble i also recommend that either before or after you block you weave in your ends so that you don't have to do all the weaving of the ends after you've finished assembling your blanket but at the end of the day that's a personal preference for assembling this blanket, I like to sew the squares together in sections of nine, so three squares by three squares. I find by doing this, I don't have to work with pieces of yarn that are so long that they're awkward, and also I'm cutting down on some loose ends because I'm not going one by one. So when you are sewing your squares together, you want to start with the right sides facing each other and the wrong sides facing out. And using a blunt eye needle with the same yarn that you use to crochet your squares, You'll insert your needle into a stitch on the square on top and then insert your needle into the bottom square and then back into the bottom square and then back into the top square.
and then back into the top square again. And then back into the bottom square. And then into the bottom square again. And then into the top square. But basically, you are going to insert your needle into a certain square and then insert it into that square again before going into the next square. After you finish sewing your squares together horizontally, you can cut off any piece of yarn, thread your needle, and start sewing the squares together vertically. You can add more squares as you go until you have a section of nine squares. When you finish sewing all your squares together, it's time for step four, which is the border. You're going to start by inserting your hook into the corner, any of the corners of the blanket with the right side of your blanket facing up. In each corner, you're going to crochet three single crochets and then down the edges, just try to single crochet across evenly. Round one is single crochets and then round two is more single crochets and round three is slip stitches. And then you'll finish off and weave in all your ends. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can find this pattern in my Etsy shop, Modern Maid Shop, and you can also find all the stitch tutorials for the squares here on YouTube. If you liked this video, please like it and consider subscribing. I release new crochet and knitting videos every week.